Hey everybody, um, welcome to my review of last night's Monday Night Raw. And I have to say that it was one of those interesting post pay-per-view Raws. Uh, let's take a look first of all at the highlights of it, okay? First of all, this McMahon comes out and basically says that Bret Hart, because of what's been going on lately, is fired as general manager and that there is a new anonymous general manager that has been hired that Vince McMahon has given ultimate authority and control of Raw to. Which to me sounds like even if Vince McMahon's on the show, it doesn't matter what he says, the, this new anonymous general manager can override him. Now, what is this, how, now, how does this new anonymous general manager give orders if we don't know who he is? Well, apparently he send, well, apparently he's going to be sending emails via computer to Michael Cole so Michael Cole can announce them to the world. So, I guess you could say put two and two together there and see what you get. Or you can come to your own conclusions, I should say. Now, one, now, the highlights about last night, besides that, is the fact that this new general manager also has hired on and signed the NXT grads to raw contracts. So basically, they got what they wanted. Now, here's another thing. The NXT grads, or, or Nexus, as they now call themselves, come out and try to apologize and kiss up to the fans. And basically said that the reason they did it is for the love of WWE. And one of the grads, I think it was Michael Tarver, said, hey, basically said, WWE Universe, if you guys were in the same position we were with the opportunity to be in this company, you would have done the same thing. Maybe so, I don't know. But here's another highlight. This new anonymous general manager also makes a WWE title match for later that night, for later... Well, well, for the main event of last night. John Cena and Sheamus with Vince McMahon as the special guest referee slash ringside enforcer. Well, anyway, the NXT grads, or the Nexus, come out during the main event, and they attack John Cena. Okay. They attack John Cena very well. Then, Vince McMahon gets in the ring and basically takes partial credit for what's happened. He basically takes partial credit for what's been happening over the past couple weeks. Not full credit, but partial credit. I mean, he even has to call off the uh, Nexus guys from beating down on John Cena a little bit. But then what do the Nexus NXT grads do in return? They beat the hell out of Vince McMahon. That's right. They beat the hell out of the chairman of the board. Now, apparently, from what I read on WWE.com, the new anonymous general manager says that the NXT grads, the Nexus, will be dealt with with appropriate consequences. Appropriate consequences. Try to ring that out. I wouldn't be surprised if they get rewarded for what happened. Now, anyway, those are the highlights. What else happened last night? Well, we saw the Raw, the in-ring, we saw the in-ring Raw debuts of Natalia and Tamina, and it looked like they were having a good match until the NXT grads interrupted. Hmm. What else? Oh, we had the Miz confront Randy Orton and basically tell Randy Orton, hey. You've had your opportunities time after time after time of being in the main event, being in the WWE title picture, being the champion. It's my time now, not yours. And this leads to a brawl, with all, which also leads to, to Edge coming out and spearing Randy Orton and telling him that the real fun begins. Now, this leads to sort of like a triple threat match between the two for the United States title. That would be great because at least it would give some credibility back to the U.S. title, which many say it's been lacking. Now, what else?
what else happened that night? We had, oh yeah, we had the great Khali teaming with Eve to take on Primo and Alicia Fox. And great Khali and Eve win the match, but Alicia Fox walks out of the match. Which tells me she's going to be the kind of champion that when she has to defend a title, she's just going to walk away from the match, get counted out, just as long as she can keep her championship. That's what it looks like. To me. Anyway. We also had John Morrison beat Zack Ryder, who was subbing for Ted DiBiase. We also, oh, and speaking of Ted DiBiase, he fires Virgil and in his place hires Maurice. Which tells me this could lead to Ted DiBiase turning face, because Maurice might be portrayed, or is going to be portrayed, obviously, as a gold digger. So we'll see what happens there, but I think it might lead to him being faced. Uh, we had another classic match between Evan Bourne and Chris Jericho. Jericho basically stated that if he lost, he was going to quit the WWE or retire. He did not lose. He counted the shooting style press with the code breaker. And, uh, what else happened? I can't really think of anything else that happened last night uh, besides the highlights of the NXTers. You know, I have to look back again. But overall, Raw was okay last night. It was one of the best, one of the better post uh, pay per view Raws that I've seen after a minor pay per view, not a humongous pay per view like say WrestleMania. But it was one of the better ones following a minor, minor sized pay per view. And what was so interesting in WWE trying to be more realistic because I guess they're now on this reality television kick is they actually had the cameraman drop his camera while it was still on, focusing on a fallen Vince McMahon after Vince McMahon got beat up by the NXT Nexus group. And he's basically calling for help, calling for help, and then asking Vince if he can hear him. So I think WWE is trying their best to make it look real, but we don't know how real. So it's going to be interesting where this leads from here. But again, you can draw up your own conclusions as to Who's behind all of this? Now, obviously, if you put anonymous new general manager, add in the fact that he's, this, this general manager has signed the NXT group, oop, add in the fact that it's, this, this new general manager is sending out emails with his orders, via, well, sending his orders out via email to Michael Cole, you add that all together, and then the beat down on Vince McMahon, and then the so-called appropriate consequences that are going to be taken this Monday, you add that all together, and you kind of get your, you can, well, you can kind of put together your own conclusion as to who could be behind it. Now, some people might say, well, it's too coincidental that if anonymous general managers, the anonymous general manager is sending emails with his orders on them to Michael Cole to announce then, to, then maybe to a lot of people it's too obvious that it's Michael Cole that's the anonymous general manager that's the one pulling the strings. That might be it. Others might have their own conclusions. Some have said it might be Daniel Bryan, but I don't think it's Daniel Bryan. Some say it could be Stephanie McMahon. I don't think it's Stephanie McMahon. Believe me, if it was Stephanie McMahon, we'd know already. You know, you know a lot of people just have their own conclusions. Me? I don't know who it could be. But if I was to go with anybody, I'd say I'd go with the, I'd go with uh, Michael Cole is who I'd go with. So, but yeah, you know, last night was an interesting Raw. I mean, it's, but was, here's what was really interesting though. After Vince McMahon took partial credit for all their actions against everybody over the past couple of weeks, partial credit, and not only did he get beat up by the NXT Nexus group. But then as the Nexus NXT group is leaving, the fans of Bridgeport are chanting NXT. And I'm like, whoa. Basically you have them being booed out of the building earlier in the night, and now you have them being cheered. All because they beat up Vince McMahon. I guess that's what you get when you have WWE programming or live events or whatever in eastern areas. Because if we, as we have noticed, when you're in the East Coast, Pennsylvania, all the way up to New Jersey or wherever, and in between, in those upper eastern regions, most of, you know, guys like NXT, when, the, when they do what they did to Vince McMahon, they get cheered. 
And when guys like Cena are performing, the only people that cheer him are the kids and the and the mothers and the women. And while the men boo the hell out of him. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but last night was a very interesting role, I have to say that. So that's all I'm gonna say. Tell me what you think and I will talk to you later and J Dub, I wanna know what you think. Peace out.